All right. So we've talked about force and Newton's laws of motion. Uh, we also have something called the law of gravity. So gravity is the force between two objects that depends on the masses of an object and the distance between them. So it depends on how large. So you yourself, no matter how large you are, has some sort of gravitational pull. You have that attractive force. So, if, so for instance, if we go even larger scale, so if two planets become closer and closer to one another, then the gravitational force between the planets becomes stronger as well. That means you'll start to see the smaller planet. So for instance, we have a moon, which is a satellite that goes around us, and it is always pulling against what the Earth's gravitational pull is doing. That's why we see different differentiations in tides. So remember we talked about that in Earth science section. So gravitational force between all objects is gravity. The forces, um, mass increase, the force of gravity increases, the distance increases, the force of gravity de decreases. So the closer you are, the more gravitational pull you'll feel, the further away, the less you'll feel. So planets with less mass have, have a weaker gravitational field than planets with a larger mass. We call these G-forces. G-forces are based on our Earth's G-forces. So that means that Earth has one G-force, but something like Jupiter is so much larger that it has over 2.5 G-forces just standing on it. So that means it's pulling, pulling it closer to you at two and a half times more than what the Earth is. So here's the difference between mass and weight. Now, mass is going to be the same no matter where you are. So whether you are in the asteroid belt or if you're on Earth or if you're standing on Mercury, it doesn't matter. Your mass will always be the same. And that's measured in kilograms when we talk about science. Uh, weight is measured based on the gravitational force. So weight is a force, so it is measured in newtons. You will, so your mass on Earth is different. We talk about, oh, I weigh too much. Well, technically you weigh whatever your force is. So on, on Earth, if you weigh 100 kilograms, your force is 980 newtons. But because on the moon, there is such a smaller gravitational force, your weight, your weight would then be 162.2 newtons. So mass does not change. So if you go through this, your mass is the same on the Earth and the moon. Yes, it is. Your mass is the same on, on the moon and Jupiter. Yes. Remember, mass does not change. Your mass is the same on Pluto and Earth. Yes. Your weight is the same on Earth and the moon. No, because weight is a measure of force based, based on gravity. So weight is measured in newtons. It is a force. So when you do it, you will not do it in pounds, kilograms, or anything like that. You will do it in newtons. Your weight depends on how much acceleration of gravity is acting on you at that moment. So if you're on Earth, it's always going to be whatever your mass is times one, because Earth has one G. The acceleration of gravity due on the moon was the acceleration of gravity on planet Earth. So we are looking at pounds on this. So on this, we see that we have 150 pounds. You weigh 225.6 pounds on the moon, and you weigh 406 pounds on Jupiter. So pounds and, and your Newtons relatively go together. So remember, weight of an object is mass times acceleration just like force is. So force and weight are almost exactly the same. The only difference is, is acceleration of gravity is going to be the same over and over and over again on Earth. On Earth, it is 9.8 meters per second squared. 
So no matter what, when we're doing weight on Earth, it is your mass times 9.8 meters per second squared. So 5 kilograms times 9.8. And in this case, Leica has a mass. I'm guessing it's going to be pretty small since it's only 5 kilograms. It's probably some dog. Or Laika. Well, let's do Laika. That sounds like a dog name. Is going to be 49 newtons. And we continue on from there. So go into your practice. You need to do your practice to, in order to do well on your test. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Listen to my tutelage.